Hey guys, so this is Tasman from Tasman's Crochet Creations and in this video I'll be showing you how to crochet my sunflower sling bag. Okay, so for this tutorial for the sunflower sling bag um, We'll be needing, so this is the square that we'll be making. Um, we're making two of those, one for the front and one for the back. I've remade my first one. So the materials that we'll need is a four millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, some scissors, and also some yarn, some DK light worsted weight yarn in the color brown or dark brown, light brown, yellow, green, blue, and black. And um, you'll be also be needing a zip. You can get a 20 centimeter zip, but I'm afraid the shop that I went to um, didn't have 20 centimeters in stock. The only size up from that was a 30 centimeter. I think this is 30. 35 sorry 35 centimeter zip sadly they didn't have 25 but anyway um we'll be needing a piece of fabric this is um this is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters so half a meter by half a meter you'll also be needing these d rings uh for the buckle so you'll need two of those so yeah that's all that you need for the supplies so Let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so to begin the starburst granny square, we're going to take our dark brown and our four millimeter crochet hook, and we're going to form a magic ring. So to do that, um, you're simply going to form like an X, like that, and then you're going to insert your hook under the front loop and pull through the back loop. Do not take the loop off your finger yet and just yarn over and chain one just to secure the magic ring and then from there we are going to do 16 double crochet into the magic ring okay so now double crochet is just a yarn over and then go into the stitch well into the magic ring and then it's yarn over and then pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a double crochet. So let me show you that to you again. So it's yarn over, two, four, and then go into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook, and then yarn over, and then pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two to form a double crochet. Okay, now you just repeat this until you have 16 double crochet stitches. And I'll meet back up with you when we when we are done with the 16 double crochets. Okay, so now after you have uh, finished with uh, doing 16 double crochets into the magic ring, you are going to pull this tail end. You're going to pull it tight to close off that circle. And then to end this round off, we are going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch. So you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And there you go, you're going to end off. And now for the next round, we're going to join our um, next color, which is the light brown. Okay, so I like to attach it. In, in a few stitches away from my tail end so that I can work over my tail end. So I'm just going to insert it into a random stitch, a few stitches before the tail end, and then I'm just going to yarn over and pull that through. And then I am going to, sorry, give me a second. Um, so I'm going to chain three 
and then we are going to puff stitch in each stitch so it's yarn over sorry let me do that again so you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through now you have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over again you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through okay and i should have five loops three four five okay and then you're going to yarn over pull through insert and now you should have seven loops one two three four five six seven loops that is correct okay so once you have seven loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three and then i like to just tug on my tail end just to pull in those chains a bit more okay and then um and then you are going to chain one um okay then you're going to chain one then you're going to do another puff stitch into the next stitch okay yeah so you're going to again yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through now you have three loops on your hook yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over insert yarn over pull through now you should have seven loops one two three four five six seven again yarn over pull through okay and then chain one uh to close that off okay so now you just repeat the process putting a puff stitch in every stitch around yeah so i'm going to do one more with you so you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through and then you're going to yarn over insert again yarn over pull through you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through and then you should have seven loops on your hook one two three sorry one two three four five six seven okay there we go yeah so now you should have seven loops on your hook so you're going to yarn over and pull through and again chain one sorry this is there we go sorry i'm just trying to get my camera focused Okay, so now you can just continue repeating the same steps and then I'll meet you back up at the beginning. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the last puff stitch. So again, it's yarn over, pull through, sorry, it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you should have seven loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, yarn over, yarn over, sorry, let me just do that all again, sorry, it's one, two, three times, yarn over, yarn over, and then pull through all three loops on your hook, and then do a chain one and then you are going to insert your hook at the top of the puff stitch like that and then you're going to yarn over and pull that through okay now i've left quite a bit of a tail you don't need to so i'm just gonna trim that a bit shorter because i don't need that extra bit oh i forgot to hmm. I forgot to carry this tail end, um, but it's fine. I can just trim this other tail end though, because I know I've carried that through. Okay, so now you're going to attach your your yellow. <laughs> you see your yellow, <laughs> yellow, yellow. Um, okay, so now for this round, um, this is the cluster round. So you're going to insert your yarn in between. Um, in between these puff stitches so again i'm going to insert my hook a few stitches before my tail end so that i can work over it so again i'm going to insert my hook yarn over pull through 
and then we are going to um, chain three one two three and we are going to do um, four double crochet clusters together so it's basically four double crochets together if you know how to do like two double crochet together for a decrease or three double crochet together for a decrease it's basically the same thing um sorry there we go sorry sorry about that um yeah so we are going to basically do four double crochets together or a four decrease okay so to do that we are going to yarn over insert into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay so that's one double crochet done so now we need to do three more so it's again yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops only now you have three loops in your hook and you only have two double crochet stitches see there one and two so you're going to do that two more times so you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over and then pull through two that is three okay so now we're going to do that again um okay so now we're going to do that again so we are going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over and then pull through two on you the two loops on your hook so now you should have five loops on your hook one two three four five should have four double crochets together so it's one two three and four and you're going to yarn over pull through all all the loops and you're going to chain i think you're going to chain uh sorry you're going to chain two sorry you're going to chain one and then chain two and then you're going to repeat the process you're going to yarn over insert between the two puff stitches so you're going to insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two again you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two again going to yarn over pull through sorry you're going to yarn over yarn over insert and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two Again, you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's four loops, and again, five loops on hook. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all four of those loops, and then again, you are going to do a uh, chain two. One and two. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like so far. Um, as you can see there, so it's like little cluster stitches. Yeah, so we're going to repeat that process again. Yarn over, insert between the two puff stitches, like that. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through those two loops. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. There we go. Okay, so again, you're going to yarn over, insert yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, insert and pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull through two. Okay. Then there's one, two, three, four, again five loops on a hook. Yarn over, pull through all four, sorry, all five of those loops. Then you're gonna chain two. And then again you're just going to repeat this process um, until you get back to the beginning. Yeah. so now you can just go off repeat the cluster stitches all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning okay so now i am coming to the end um of this yellow round here or the cluster round um i have just done my four double crochets together i'm now just going to yarn over and pull through to end off this last double crochet cluster and then i'm just going to chain two to get back to the beginning and then I am going to um, insert into the top of this cluster stitch right here. Insert into there, yarn over, pull through, 
and then pull through the loop on your hook and then yeah to end off yeah so that's the yellow round done so now we're going to get our green and do the next round and now this round is where we now start taking our um it's where we now take our circle and we start forming it into a square okay so now again we are going to insert into one of these gaps in between the cluster stitches we are going to yarn over and pull through and then we're going to chain three so it's one two and three and then we are going to do a three treble in the same gap so now a treble is basically when we yarn over twice so yarn over twice go into the the gap yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you just keep pulling through two until you get back uh sorry no sorry you keep pulling through two until you have one loop on your hook so again you're going to um yarn over twice sorry this keeps getting hooked okay so you're going to yarn over twice insert into the gap yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so now we're going to do one more yarn over pull well sorry yarn over twice insert yarn over pull through so it's pull through then pull through two then pull through two and then pull through two again okay so now there is our three treble stitches one two three and then that's our chain stitch we do not count that as a stitch and then we're going to go straight into the next gap and we're going to do three double crochets so now double crochet is a yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so now that's a double crochet so we, we repeat those steps yarn over insert pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we do that one more time yarn over insert yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay and then we're going to do a half double crochet and our half double crochet is when we yarn over insert yarn over pull through now you have three loops on your hook then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops we're going to yarn over as if we're going to do a double crochet but we're not we're going to yarn over insert yarn over and then yarn over pull through three loops we're going to do that one more time yarn over insert yarn over pull through all three okay and then we're going to go back to a double crochet again so now to do a double crochet again we're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert yarn over pull through two and pull through two sorry yarn over and pull through the last two again for the third one we're gonna yarn over insert yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then again in this corner stitch we're going to do three trebles so this is a bit different we're gonna do three trebles so again a treble just yarn over twice insert yarn over pull through and then pull through yarn over pull through two then yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two three times basically we do one more so again is yarn over twice insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and now for the corner we're going to chain three one two and three and then we're going to do three treble crochets again into this stitch so again a treble is yarn over twice insert yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two that's one now we do it twice more okay and then we do three double crochets in this next stitch so again a double crochet is yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so again it's yarn over insert yarn over pull through 
yarn over and sorry yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two one more and now a half double crochet in here so three half double crochet sorry and now a half double crochet again so yarn over once insert yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through all three loops yeah i'm going to show you that one more time so it's yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three loops again three double crochets one two and three double crochets and then we're going to do three trebles so that's one two and three and then again we're going to chain three one two three yarn over twice insert and then do your three trebles again and then again in the next space we're going to do three double crochets I'm sure by now you would have caught on to the pattern but I will just continue doing this with you until we get to the beginning okay so now in the next space we're going to do three three half double crochets so I've just completed the three half double crochets in there and again we are back to the three double crochets and then the three trebles And then again chain three and then three trebles again into that corner stitch okay one more into the corner then double crochet into the next stitch or three double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet And then three double crochets and then again into this last last gap here where the three trebles are coming out of we're going to do three treble crochets in that same space to finish off this corner and this row so going to do three more trebles Okay, after you finish with your three, you're going to chain three and then you're going to join at the top of uh, the top of the treble crochet and then you're going to insert, pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. So there is officially the starburst granny square completed. Um, so this is... Um, if you were just creating just the starburst granny square um this is where you'll end off here uh, but for the purpose of this video we're going to be making it into a bag um so from there we're going to get our blue yarn okay this appears much darker on camera but it's actually um quite light <laughs> um well it's not as light as the green but yeah still a bit light yeah sorry i'm just trying to find um the beginning here there we go okay there we go sorry let me see that there on that side okay so now to begin i am going to insert into this top um i'm going to insert 
into the top of this treble and then I'm gonna yarn over pull through and chain one okay um, so for the next round um, which is the blue round uh, we are basically going to do like a single crochet in each stitch and then do uh, two single crochet and sorry it's two single crochet sorry it's actually two half double crochet chain two two half double crochet in the corners okay but anyway to begin um so we've chained one that it, that does not count as a stitch so um we are going to do a single crochet into that same stitch then we're going to single crochet into the next 15 stitches so it's across this this top row of stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sorry, it's uh, actually fifteen stitches, including this beginning stitch. So this should be fifteen stitches now, if I'm not mistaken. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 14 15 sorry i didn't actually show you how to make the single crochet stitch um sorry let me just show you on this last stitch so to make the single crochet stitch you're gonna yarn you're gonna insert through the um you're gonna insert through the stitch yarn over pull through and yarn over just pull through the two loops on your hook that's all that a single crochet is okay and then we're going to do two half double crochet in the corner and then chain two then two half double crochet in the corner so you're going to insert yarn over pull through and then pull through two loops on your hook so you're going to insert sorry yarn over insert yarn over pull through then pull through the two loops on your hook so that's um two half double crochets and we're going to chain two and repeat that so it's um and so sorry it's insert yarn over Pull through yarn over and then pull through the two loops on your hook then again we're going to go back to doing one single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches so it's one two three four five six seven sorry i noticed that that one actually went through the gap and not actually through the stitch itself that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, our single crochet is just insert, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. So that's literally all that a single crochet is. So it's insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. That's literally all that a single crochet is. So it's a very simple stitch um but yeah again we're at the corner so we are going to do two half double crochets chain two and then two half double crochets yeah so now you just repeat repeat that process of putting um of putting one single crochet along each stitch at the top and then two half double crochet chain two two half double crochet in the corner stitches and then again 15 single crochets and then two half double crochet chain two two half double crochet in the slip stitch at the beginning okay so i'm going to go off and complete this blue row and then i'll come back and show you how to end off this row okay so now I'm back to the beginning of the blue round. So I'll just finish doing my two half double crochet chain two, two half double crochet into the corner. So to end off, you're going to insert into 
the next single crochet stitch um, and then yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook and we can just take our scissors and then just snip that off yarn over actually no you can just pull that right through there you go so there we go that is this little square done and now we are just going to join the black yarn and then we are now going to extend the black out and then from there we're going to make the second panel and then we're going to um and then i'm going to show you how to how should i put it how to add like a little ridge to the sides that it will fold over to create the nice nice flat edge of the bag um so yeah now to move on to the black uh sorry now to move on to the black and to join the black and to start continue crocheting the black yarn okay so now to start the black um i am now going to join my yarn into this corner here um i think i'm going to join it here at the top of this one half double crochet here make sure to actually go through the stitch where um I don't know if you can see it where there is actually where you're going through the stitch and not through the gap there must be like a little bar underneath your hook okay so sorry if you can't see the stitches but i'm afraid i have to use black <laughs> um okay so you're just going to yarn over and pull through i'm going to chain one to secure it and then you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch putting um putting three single crochets in each corner okay so again a single crochet is just um insert into the stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two um so again it's insert yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two Okay, so again, it's insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. I don't quite like that gap there. Sorry, I'm just going to go back and do this again. There we go. So again, insert, yarn over, pull through. And again, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, we'll insert yarn over and pull through two. Insert yarn over and pull through two. Insert yarn over and pull through two. Yeah. So you just keep putting in um one single crochet stitch through um every single crochet stitch um until we get to the corner um and then in the corner we are just going to do three single crochets into the corner yeah i'm nearly at the corner now Sorry, I went through the gap between the two stitches. We don't want to do that. So again, we're going to go through the stitch, making sure to catch the bottom loop as well. Okay. Okay, so again in the corner, we're going to do three single crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Okay. So now I'm here at the one corner already out of the four corners. So again, we're just going to continue putting one single crochet. Sorry, I can't see the stitch here now. There we go. No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to put one single crochet through every stitch through the edge and then again 
uh, three single crochets in the corner stitch. Yeah, so you can just repeat, sorry, <laughs> repeat, repeat that. I can't get my words out. Repeat those same steps until you get to this corner here. So again, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch and then three single crochets in the corner. Um, one single crochet in each stitch, three single crochets in the corner, um, one single crochet in each stitch, and then three single crochets in the corner and slip stitch at the beginning. Okay, so you can just go ahead and I will meet you back up when, um, when we're at the, when we're at the corner. Okay, so now I've made it all the way around the square. So now I'm just going to do the last three single crochets to form the last corner. So it's two and then three. Okay, so now to end off this row, we are just going to slip stitch to the beginning. We are not going to end off. We're not going to cut our yarn. We are just going to carry on. Um, okay, so we are just going to chain one single crochet into the same stitch and then we are going to so for the next four rows so from row seven to ten so so for the next four rows we should have five rows in total of the black okay but for the next four rows we are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch sorry let me just get a good focus here so we are going to put um one single crochet into every stitch and then in the corner stitch in the middle of the three single crochet stitches in the corner we're going to place another three single crochets in the corner um so let me just get there Quickly, <laughs> we'll try and do it quickly. Um, okay, so I'm nearly at the corner here. Just have what three more stitches to do. Okay, so now this is now the three stitches here. I know you can't really see. So in this middle one here, we're gonna place three single crochets so in this middle one here of the three you're going to place three single crochets in there and then we are just going to again one single crochet in each stitch until the corner and then you put three single crochets um then you put three single crochets into the corner middle stitch of each corner So again, I'm at the corner of my stitch here. Okay, so I don't know if you can kind of see that there. Come on, camera. Focus, focus, please focus. Yeah, so I've just worked into the first stitch and then that second stitch. Um, it does look like that there's three stitches, but it's not. This other stitch is just worked into the top of this half double crochet there, so don't worry too much about that. Um, so again, you're just going to place three single crochets into that middlemost stitch. Okay, so you just repeat re <sighs> repeat that until you get to the beginning, and then you just repeat repeat the second row. Um, for the next for the next three more rows so you're going to have five rows in total 
um, but you're going to have four rows where you do three single crochets into the corner stitch. Okay, so I'll meet back up with you when those um, when those four rows of one single crochet in each stitch and then three single crochets into the corner stitch are complete. Okay, so now I have completed crocheting all five of those rows. So well, there's five rows in total, but I've finished. I'm now finished with those four rows of one single crochet in each stitch and doing three single crochets in each corner stitch. So now to end off, we are just going to slip stitch into the beginning, uh, into the beginning stitch. Again, we're going to yarn over, pull through to form a slip stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and end off. We can leave a bit of a short tail. We don't need a long tail. And then just pull that through. So now to form like this edge here that will go around three sides of the work. Um, to do that, we're going to form like a bit of a ridge. And we're going to form depth. Okay, so to do that, I have inserted my hook through the corner stitch here. I chained one. And then I did one single crochet through that same stitch. So um, we are going to do uh, one single crochet in every stitch into the back loops of this stitch. So where is my darning needle? There it is. Um, sorry, let me try and see if I can get a lot on here there we go so here you see there is like a front loop there is a front loop and a back loop we're going to go through the back loop of the bumps see there there's the back loop we're going to go through the back loop only so we're going to go through the back loop we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch and each stitch around we're not going to put any stitches into the corners so we're not we're not going to put three stitches into the corners anymore we are just simply going to put um we're simply just going to put one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch including the corner stitches um and so i'll meet you back up onto the opposite edge so we're going to work all the way around here putting one single crochet in each stitch in the back loop and then we're going to stop here at this corner okay so you can continue that going going um uh so you can continue putting one single crochet into the back loop only of each of the stitch around and then i'll meet you back up here okay so now i have made it back around to this edge so i've worked from this edge to this edge doing one single crochet in the back loops only so now for the next four rows we are going to do well, we are going to chain one at the beginning of the row. We are going to turn our work. And then we are going to do one single crochet into every stitch um, around. So, yeah, we for the next four rows, we are going to just be doing one single crochet in each stitch. Until we get to the end of the row, then we're going to chain one and turn and then continue. Yeah, so now you can just go off and um, continue doing the one single crochet in every stitch around. Whoopsie. Sorry. Until every stitch around until we get to the end of the four round. Sorry, the four rows. Okay. So now I have now finished crocheting those five rows um, to form like the depth of the bag so as you can see with how it is sitting up right now um, so yeah this is somewhat what it's going to look like 
as you can see. Sorry, you can't get the whole thing in camera. So yeah, if I flatten it out, then you can see that by doing one single crochet in each corner, sorry, uh, one single crochet in each stitch, it like makes this corner round um, and no longer straight. And there you can kind of see where the the ridge is, where it worked into the back loops only, and it pushed the front loops forward. Um, so yeah, basically what's going to happen is this will get folded up, see where the rib is, where, yeah, there you are. Yeah, this rib here, so it's going to get folded up like that, and then this is going to get folded like that. And then after we've made our second panel exactly like this, from the beginning round to the very end, um, we are going to join the two panels together and um and then it'll form like the pouch <laughs> the pouch of a bag if that makes any sense um so yeah it will somewhat sit like this i guess and then this one obviously once i have finished crocheting the extra width i mean the depth sorry then this will sit on that like that and it will be sewn down to form like a pocket almost um <laughs> sorry this is a kind of a bad demonstration um but yeah so to end off this row um we are just gonna obviously single crochet to the end and then we're just gonna yarn over sorry we're just gonna kind of yarn yarn over and pull that through to end off okay so that is the one side so again repeat repeat these steps from the beginning center to the very um end here where you did um where you transformed your circle into the square and then you made a bigger square and then from there you went and you did this extra width around here yeah so again just follow those steps from the center to the um outmost row and then i'll come back and i'll meet up with you when we have to sew the bag together so yay okay so now guys um <clears throat> so now after we have finished crocheting both the panels and with leaving a long tail end on one of the panels this is a very long tail end as you can see it's very long um yeah it's still going <laughs> Anyway, so after you have done that now, we are now going to sew these two panels together. And um, in order to do so, we are going to sew them with the wrong, sorry, with the right sides together. So this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So the wrong side appears to be like more like bumpy and more textured than, uh, than the right side. So this is the right side. And that is the wrong side. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Um, like here, for instance, with the treble stitches, or this green row here, see how smooth this is here? And um, see how bumpy and rich, rigid this part is? Okay, so that's how I can tell from right, from, sorry, from the back and the right side. Wrong and the right side, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we are going to put the right sides together on top of each other like that um and then we are now going to sew um the front and the back panel together so i'm just going to take my darning needle here and then i am just going to whoopsie that did not work um just going to thread my darning needle um yeah, I'm just going to thread my darning needle. Okay. So, I'm going to try and get this as close as possible. Yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go um, 
in through one stitch and out through the other stitch so i'll show you now what i mean so okay so we're going to go through the first stitch and then we're going to go through the first stitch of the other panel pull that through Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again, but we're going to come from the side we just came from, go into the next stitch, go through the next stitch in the, um, in the other side, pull that through, and then we are just going to repeat that all across. So again, come from this side, insert your needle here through this panel, and then um, onto the, the, the stitch on the other panel and pull that through so you're just going to repeat these steps inserting your needle sorry your yeah your needle through this through the stitch of the one side and then through the opposite stitch on the other panel and pull you on through so you're just going to keep whoopsie you're just going to keep um sewing this all the way around so you're going to sew from this corner here I'm going to sew from this corner all the way around to this corner here. We're going to again leave this top one unworked. We are going to come back at a later stage and we're going to, well actually after this, um, after we have finished um, sewing the panels together, we're going to come back and we're going to crochet a f like about five rows around the top. Okay, so yeah, you can just now go off. And continue sewing these panels together. So yeah, I will meet back up with you um, when we are at the beginning again. Well, to the other side, I should say. Sorry, I should come on the frame. Yeah, so again, through the next stitch and then through the opposite stitch on the other side. Yeah, so it should look something like this when you stretch it apart. Something like that. Yeah, and on the other side it should look quite neat and clean like that. So yeah, uh, you can just repeat those process. Sorry, <laughs> you can just repeat this process or these steps, um, inserting your needle through the one side and then back through the other side. So. Yeah, I'll meet back back up with you when we are done. Okay, so now I am coming up to the end of um of this now. Sorry, let me just get my camera to focus in a bit. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just coming to the end now. So again, I have three more stitches to work through. So. Again, I'm just going to insert my needle through this side and then back through the other side. Okay, so now when we end off, so now I'm on the last stitch, when we end off, to secure it, instead of pulling the loop like all the way through, so instead of pulling the loop all the way through, I'm going to thread my needle through that loop to like, um, knot it at the end so that it is secure i'm going to do that one more time so i pull that through and then insert my needle through the loop and pull that back out okay i actually have quite a bit of a tail end <laughs> left over but uh, better to be safe than sorry i guess um so that's what it looks like so far so now just to end this off i'm just going to take um I'm not gonna, what would you call it, I'm gonna have my needle threaded, threaded, and then I'm just gonna insert my needle to one of the stitches here, and then, come on, then like work my way under the stitches, like that, and then I'm gonna pull that through. Yeah, 
and I'm going to pull it through and now that is like basically like secured into place so now we can just get our scissors and cut that off okay so there we go um okay so now you have the wrong sides facing you so now we're going to turn this inside out to reveal the right side of the bag hey okay there we go i quite like that i think that looks quite sweet um so now as you can somewhat see um like the ridges on either side has formed like a it has formed depth to the bag um as you can see here somewhat <laughs> um so yeah so now um so that's like what it looks like so far <laughs> i can't like this actually this is quite cool so yeah so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our four millimeter crochet hook again we're going to grab our black yarn okay i'm going to draw my yarn kind of like at the corner here like just before um the front and the back kind of meet um so basically in the last stitch of the last row i guess we're gonna insert our hook there sorry let me just put it so you can see insert yarn over pull through and then chain one and then do a single crochet in the same stitch to um that you slip stitched into and now what we're going to do is we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. Um, and with these rows here on the edge, you're just going to place like one single crochet into like each like into each row into like each side of the stitch. If that maybe makes any sense, because this is this is the way the row is. So you're going to insert a, like stitches to the end of the row. If that makes any sense. Um. So yeah, we're just going to do one single crochet uh, around. And here we are not going to crochet into this this join. This is the back loop um, of this stitch here. We're not going to work into that stitch. We're going to go into this next stitch. Okay, like that. It's looking good already. So yeah, so now we're just going to, as I said, just continue crocheting all the way around and then um we will we will slip stitch at the beginning of this round to join and then we're going to do i'd say about four more rows i think um yeah i think it's four more rows sorry i keep accidentally moving my camera <laughs> i really don't mean to um so yeah, you can just continue single crocheting into every stitch and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to join at the beginning. Alright, so now I'm at the beginning of the row again. Um, so I've literally just worked one single crochet around, well one single crochet in each stitch around. So to join, I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning stitch. So insert yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And then I'm going to do a chain one, and then one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to do this for for another four more rows. So in total we should have five five rows. But in total, if we count the black, um, from here upwards, we should have ten. If I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we should have ten, ten rows in total. Um, so yeah, I um, will meet back up with you um, when we have basically um, 10 full rows of black completed or five or, or four more rows if you want to see it that way. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll just go off and uh, complete those four more rows and I'll meet back up with you when we're at the end. Alright. So now I am now at the end of the fifth row or the tenth row. So I'm just doing my last stitch. And then again, I'm just going to slip stitch um, into 
the beginning stitch and I will pull that through and then pull through the loop on your hook and then we're going to end off here um, so you're just going to snip your yarn yarn over and pull that through okay so this is what it looks like so far um, so yeah this is what it looks like um, yeah let me see if I can focus in sorry this is going to be really horrible <laughs> um yeah so you can see kind of like the ridge there um i can't see it anymore um but yeah so this is what it looks like now the bag is quite high which is what i like um of course you didn't have to do this do um this portion here like five rows of each panel um you could do it shorter or longer depending on what you like um so yeah, I think I am going to iron this because I know that this is going to pull because this is wool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go and iron this and I'll show you um, how to steam block this or iron it so that it doesn't pull, hopefully. So yeah. Alright, so now I'm here. I'm going to now block and block this or iron this flat or oh, yeah whatever <laughs> but yeah so i have the setting on to wool okay and now i'm just gonna lightly just maybe press down i'm not gonna do it in a circular motion i'm just gonna tap um the reason why i do that is because if i move the iron in a circular motion um it is in fact going to like pull the threads in whichever direction um the iron is going in so i'm going to flip it this way the other side now and i'm just gonna again just lightly tap it just like that and then i'm going to try and see if i can maybe try and do this one hand in I'm going to try and see if I can maybe do this side. So I'm going to lay it kind of like, like this. Okay, and then I'm going to do this side again. Just lightly tapping it down. Okay, that should be fine. And now I'm just going to do the other side. I'm trying to hold my phone and do this at the same time. Okay, so again, just lightly tap it. Okay, that should be fine. And I'm going to do this side. Okay, now that should be fun. I think. Let me just lay this out nicely. Okay. So for part two of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sew in the zip and the lining and then um, how to crochet the, the strap and sewing the strap to the bag. 